most of you will never have taken a religious history because you haven't been trained in it, but also because psychiatrists feel that it might be over-intrusive, it might sound preachy, and it might be a breach of boundaries. But if it's done sensitively, it can work very well and give you a lot of information about the patient that might help in working with that person towards healing. The Royal College, in its 2013 um, position statement number three, emphasises the importance of religion and spirituality in understanding the etiology, diagnosis and treatment of mental health problems. Here are a few basic questions that you can ask in a non-threatening way if you have never before taken a religious history from anybody. It's usually done uh, most comfortably, I think, in the context of assessing their pre-morbid personality, where you're trying to get to know the person that they are. And so you can begin by saying, um, you, you will have asked questions about the kind of person they are, whether they're quick-tempered or shy and all of that. And you can then follow on by saying, would you ever have described yourself or are you now a religious person or a spiritual person? And if they say, no, I'm not religious or spiritual, you might want to ask them, were you ever? And if you were, you might want to ask, what, what, what changed you? Why, 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 why did that alter? If they say they, they now are spiritual or religious, you would say, well, how does that show itself? Do you go to church or synagogue or to the mosque or do you pray? Or do you meditate? Are you, are you Buddhist? Do you get comfort from that? Does that help you? These are the very basic questions that you can ask. None of these are preachy. They're all part of the inquiry that one makes in a, a full psychiatric history. When you get this information, you can then go back to it later on if you need any further discussion about the role of religion in, in dealing with their mental health problems in coping or in resilience. I will be returning to this in a more lengthy uh, discussion after COVID is over when we have an actor lined up to m more specifically identify the questions that are asked of different faith traditions.